we've had some very interesting and very good producers. Um, I can't think of any that was really bad. They were they were after uh, Doris Quinlan, who put the show on the air, and who hired me. And Doris left, and we had uh, Joe Stewart, who took the show in a slightly different direction. He brought in the Buchanans and decided to create kind of opposing families, which is always a good thing. You have the Lords and the Buchanans. They then phased out the sort of the Rileys and the Woleks, the poor people. So suddenly, Landview was just rich, which is not always good. I think you need a mix. And then after Joe came Jean Arley, who stayed only for, I think, two or three years. But I won my first Emmy under Jean. And she was a wonderful woman. Then came Paul Rausch, for whom I also have enormous respect. This is a man who is very talented, very smart, um, very, very well-rounded, who knows this business inside out. Um, Paul has this, <laughs> people mention Paul Rausch, and you go, oh, because he, he sends his, re re his reputation ahead of him, that he's a terrifying man. And it helps, it works for him, because he doesn't have to deal with nonsense then, you know. But in fact, he's a very, very educated, lovely man. And uh, Paul was very good for the show. He tightened it, he strengthened it, he made the writing better, he pulled the stories together. And only near the end, when he was sort of, I guess, getting a bit bored, did things get lax, and they did the Eterna storyline, which people, I guess, laugh about. We had fun. It was fun, Underground City. It's still there with all that money. And after Paul came Linda Gottlieb, who was a film producer and who was going to revolutionize daytime, which she did not do in two years. But, uh, you know, you learn from everybody. And Linda was very interested in editing and in cutting things together, and she changed certain things. I, I don't know... I suppose I can say my, what I feel. I don't think she was terribly good for the show. But she was only there a couple of years. And then Linda left, and Susie Bedso came in, who had been a head writer. And she was, she was fine. She kind of pulled it together. Then Maxine Levinson was there briefly. And then Jill Farron Phelps, who has my heart, who I think is a wonderful producer. This is a very intelligent woman who had a hard time in New York. Uh, our show, we have a bunch of very tough guys, and they gave her a hard time. And fortunately, and I don't think it was Brian Franz, it was Angela Shapiro still, who asked her to go to General Hospital and take over General Hospital. And I mean, she's, she's a wonderful producer, wonderful producer, very smart, knows when to bother you, knows when to leave you alone knows how much to mix in, stuff like that. Um, after Jill came Gary Tomlin, who is another person who I adore, incredibly smart, <sighs> just a, a gentleman. And unfortunately, he was let go the year that we won the Emmy for Best Show. Ironic. And now we have Frank Valentini, who started as Paul Rausch's slave. Paul brought him in, fresh out of college, I think, as an assistant. You know, he did things like, you know, go and wait for the floor man to wax the floors and pick up his laundry, pick up Paul's laundry. And he stuck it out. He, be he was started as Paul's slave. He became a, I mean, I say slave, but he became a PA. He then became, he learned to be a stage manager. He was our stage manager for a while. He learned to be a director, and he's a wonderful director. He became a producer. I mean, he literally is so good at what he does because he's done everything. He's been out on the floor with us, and he's been in the booth. He's been in the, I don't think he was ever a writer, but he's certainly been very involved with them. And Frank has a lot of energy. He's a young man. And that allows him to really multitask, which he does very, very well. But he also knows how to delegate. And I think he's done wonderfully for the show. Uh, he's been there, I guess, two or three years. We're doing very well. Our numbers are up. The stories are good. Who knows?